Okay, so by the time you're watching this video, you should know that if y equals x squared, then the derivative dy dx is equal to 2x. And if uh, y equals 5x to the fifth plus 3x to the seventh, then the derivative dy dx or y prime of x is going to equal to 25x to the uh, fourth plus 21x to the six. Okay, and so you know that in general, if y equals x to the n, then dy dx is equal to n, n x to the n plus n minus one. Okay. And you can sort of see that from different examples that you can work through, but let's work through a general example. Okay, so the general example that I want to work through is let's just sort of go back, let's do a specific example and then generalize it. So the, the um, definition of the derivative is that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And we did some of those in earlier videos and so I'm just gonna recap uh, one of those and then I'm going to extend it. So let's suppose that our f of x is equal to x squared. Well then our f of x plus h is going to be x plus h squared. And so then we're going to have f prime of x is going to be equal to x plus h squared plus x minus x squared over h. And that's going to be, if I FOIL that out, I'm going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared over h. And so then what's going to happen is I'm going to, um, this is going to cancel that. And then this is going to cancel that and that. And so I'm going to have the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h, and that's going to be 2x. So f of x equals x squared. f prime of x is equal to 2x, as we saw right up there. OK, so then let's suppose that I'm going to say f of x is equal to x to the n. Well, then what I'm going to have is I'm going to have f prime of x is going to be equal to x plus h to the n minus x to the n all over h. Now, how do I deal with this? Well, the, deal, the way that I deal with this is by using binomial theorem. And so you can look in your pre-calculus textbook about binomial theorem. And, um, but basically what it comes down to is I say, is it says that x plus h to the n is going to be equal to, this is gonna get a little bit complicated, n c zero, x to the n, h to the zero, plus n c one, x to the n minus 1, h to the 1, plus n c 2, x to the n minus 2, h 2, dot, 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 n c n, x to the 0, h to the n. 
So there's your sort of binomial expansion. Um, and we're going to get into that in a little bit more detail in a second. Okay, so then if I want to do, I'm going to just sort of um, back this up. If I want to do this, because this is what I really want to do. So if I want to do that, there's, there's my first part of it. This part here is all this. Now I'm going to subtract off x to the n. And I'm going to divide by h. OK. So now this is where um, it gets a little bit complicated. OK. NC0 is, NC0 is going to be 1. NC0 is 1. H to the 0 is 1. So this whole first term is x to the n. Because this whole first term is x to the n, over here when I've got minus x to the n, that minus x to the n and that positive x to the n are going to cancel out just like this x squared and that minus x squared canceled out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross, just like I crossed h's off, I'm going to cross an h off there. And then I'm going to cross an h off there. And I'm going to cross an h off there to make that n minus 1. Then just like I, just like over here, now this term no longer has an h in it, but this term has an h, this term has an h. All these subsequent terms all have h's in them. And when I take the limit as h goes to 0, all of those terms that still contain h's in them, they're all going to go away because they contain h. So what's left is I've got this, this little bit of it right there. I've got nc1 x to the n minus 1 is f prime of x. And then I go, oh, well, so ncr is going to be equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial. So that's another pre-calculus thing that you can sort of look at. So nc1 is going to be equal to n factorial over n minus 1 factorial 1 factorial. Now, I'm just sort of cramming down here. I can write nc1 as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 dot 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 n minus n. And then I can write n minus 1 as n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 dot 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 and then I've got 1 factorial. Well you're going to see that this is going to cancel that, that's going to cancel that, that's going to cancel that. All this stuff is going to cancel out and what I'm left is that nc1 equals n. nc1 equals n. Very, very important. So then finally that allows me to write nc1 as n and so I've got f prime of x is equal to n uh, x to the n minus 1. And there's, so there's the derivation of the power rule for taking derivatives.